Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I have got a lot of cards, a lot of decks. You can see there, it's like basically this whole bookshelf right down to the floor. It's all my cards. I also have a drawer full of ones that I can't fit on here. Um, if you want to go and look at my collection of cards, there's somewhere in here, somewhere in my, in my channel, you will find my um, deck collection video. Uh, all you've got to do is search for most watched video and boom, there it is. Okay, so I have got a lot of decks and I love all my decks. I don't use them all, but I love them and I think they're gorgeous. And a lot of the decks that I have bought, a um, couple, quite a few, I bought them simply because of the artwork. I especially, especially the Oracle decks. I'm not a huge Oracle deck user. In fact, I very seldom use Oracle decks. Oh gosh, this is a. But um, I've just I've just kicked my whole camera set up there. But I have these. I buy them and I have them in my collection. And the only reason I buy them is because the artwork is so beautiful. Be it hand drawn artwork, be it sort of you know collage, it doesn't matter if it's if it's beautiful. I want it. I want it in my collection. Um, the question I want to ask you today is: Is this is this okay is this right is it is it okay to buy a deck of cards that you you know you're not going to use but you like it for the artwork is that okay or do you feel that that deck of cards could be better put to use by someone who is going to use it to read with now this is a very um it's a it's a topic that can get into quite a heated debate which i don't want to get into there because i know that a lot of you will say I'm a, minimal, a minimalist, I don't need to have 500 card decks on my, on my shelf. I have one deck or I have two decks and that's it. I get it, I understand and I fully, I fully sort of respect that. Some of you are going to say, yes, just buy whatever you want. You know, it's your money, you can do whatever you want with it. I respect that as well. What I am basically saying, however, is, is it, is it a spiritually and energetically good thing um, to have those cards just sitting there waiting to be looked at and never used do you think and this was something that was very that, that i found very interesting i was watching a youtube video a little while ago on this topic and this lady um, this lady said that one of the things that she noticed was the the decks that she buys specifically for the artwork decks that she very seldom uses but knows they're there if she wants to look at the artwork those decks, when she does use them, those decks are not as, as, let's use the word powerful, they're not as powerful with their readings as what decks that she uses all the time are. Now, that I found very interesting. Have you found this? Have you found that um, if you have decks that just lie around because they've got the art, you like the artwork, you don't use them, have you found that when you do use them, there's a difference in their reading? The way she described it, and I thought it was very, it was very good. She described it as the decks being tacky, the reading being tacky, not the actual, not literally the card sticking together, but the reading itself, the energy in that reading or over that card, that, that deck is tacky. She says it feels almost like, like glue, like you're walking through, doing the reading, feels like you're moving through like molasses, just the whole thing feels very tacky. And I thought that was quite interesting because generally that is what, I know to me, that's what stagnant energy feels like. If my prayer room needs a, a bit of a clean out, um, I tend to clean my prayer room once every two weeks, maybe once every three weeks, which is really bad. Um, I should be doing it weekly, which I will start to start. Um, but I, did, I do tend to find that a lot, of, a lot of the energy tends to seep down. Um, a lot of the negative energy tends to seep down. And yes, there's negative energy everywhere. I mean, come on. Um, even in your prayer room, there can be negative energy. And it does feel like almost tacky, like tangible, you know. Um, and that's when I would sweep it out or I would ring the bell or I would do something. She just found that cards that are not in use have got less energy and are more difficult to maneuver than cards that are being used. Now, a lot of my tarot decks that I do use I also love the artwork, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have them. But I do find that 
um, if I, also if I don't use a deck for a long time, I have to kind of do a proper cleansing, a little bit of an energizing with a with a, a crystal, that sort of thing, to get that energy going. So I think I agree with her that if a deck is bought solely for the purpose of the artwork and it's going to sit on your shelf um, or lie in your bag for, for months and months and months without being opened or used, I do believe that it's not going to lose any energy, but I think it's going to go stagnant. You know, it's not getting any input. It's just lying around, not having any energy input. Because when you use a deck, you are using it, you energizing it, it's energizing, putting your energy into it, the, the questioner is putting their energy into it, the, the energy in the room is going in, into the cards. They'll always be energized, they'll always be like up and perky, you know, and um, I think that cards that we buy specifically for the artwork that we leave lying around, like you would a coffee table book, you don't read that coffee table book three times a, a week or every day, it just it lies there. So like the coffee table book, I think that the cards that just lie on your shelf, um, the ones that you bought specifically knowing you're not going to use them, um, I think they also tend to be, they, they tend to get stagnant. They, they, their battery is drained, you know. Um, so, okay, getting back to my original question, having said all of this about the energy going and feeling tacky in it, do you still feel that buying cards just for the artwork is something we should be doing? Or do you think that it is, you know, somebody once said to me, yeah, that, that deck can be bought by somebody who can actually use the deck. They want to riffle shuffle it. They want to get stuck in and make all the glitzy stuff on the, the, on, on the edges fall off. They, they want to get in there and they want to use that deck so it looks like a used deck, even if they paid 700 bucks for it, you know. And here you are just looking at the pretty picture and putting it back on the shelf. It's unfair. Those people are now being denied a box of cards. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Me, I'm not going to stop doing it if I see a box of cards. Um, although I don't, I don't buy cards that much anymore. Um, but if I do like something, I tend to buy it. If I like something that, if I like a painting or a picture, look here, this. I love it. Okay. Um, I saw it. I wanted it. I bought it. It's for my for my prayer room. It's the God I pray to. Um, so I will probably still do it. Um, I will probably still buy things just for the sake of looking at them, that they're beautiful. Um, and I probably will buy cards um, because they are pretty, okay, or because they are beautiful. And um, I, personally, me, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, as long as you keep, when you do clean your room, you keep your stuff all together, give that bookshelf a little cleanse every now and again so there's no negativity there. Um, and I keep my cards within my prayer room, so there's always a really buoyant sense of, of, um, of energy here. So I don't see anything wrong with, with buying cards, just buying decks just for the artwork. Go for it. But it would be interesting to hear your take on this. Um, I'd really like to know what you think. So let me know if you have any decks that are just for the artwork and whether you have found a difference in their, have they gone tacky? <laughs> have they gone tacky or sticky um, energetically if you don't use them? You know who I am? I'm Matt from Tabby Tarot and I will see you on the flip side. Hi, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to go and like and subscribe and check out some more of my videos in my playlist.